This is what I like about reptile shows. Just have, you know, she's people awesome. here hanging out. And this is Delilah. She is our four-year-old red tail boa. Day two at the Atlanta Repticon. And you guys want to see the love that they show me over here? Check this out. So you got elephant truck snake 125. Miguel's price? 1000 Now is that some love or is that some love? And I owe it all to that guy right there. Thanks for the love, Thanks no for the problem. love, brother. Anytime. Now Anytime. does that come with shipping or the shipping? All day long. Shipping? All day long. Oh, yeah, look at everybody suited and booted over here rocking them chasing ball shirts. Now we look like a family. Look at that. Woo! Dang. So am I part of the crew now? Am I part of the crew? So, uh, Jonathan. What's up? How'd you Then. What's up? How'd What's up? How'd Break this bad boy down. Well, I watched your video on how to do it. And you cut this top of the bag open right here. Thank you. You pour water down here and on this side. You let it sit for 15 minutes. You come back and check it. You need to pour more water in it. Just add a little bit more and wait for another 15 minutes. Man. And then you get this. This is what you get. Mm, you're a pro, man. Yeah, you're man. A pro. All right, man, so what did you say that I had to see? You this guy, something. right here. Wow. Dude, this guy is amazing, man. What is it there? Dark face skin. Wow. Dude, that is amazing, man. For you. Oh my god. I wanted to throw you on the vlog. How's it going? <laughs> How come I knew you would do this to me? Well actually it was a it was he's the That's one that so made me. Yeah, I was like over there. Welcome to the vlog. Alright, Paul, I'm asking for a big favor. Could you show some of you guys uh, like your cool stuff that you guys have here? I'm not really a frog guy. Or know too much about frogs, so if you can show well, me some cool things. We great. have some great little guys. These are called Vanzellinis. These are one of the smaller species of dart frogs. They're only going to get about an inch. But they have some great oh colors. My gosh. Really, really cool. Wow, those are awesome. And what I always love about them is they mostly have spots on the top, but if you look at their bellies, and of course he just walked down. But when you get a chance to look at their bellies, there's one. They look like they got an ink blot test on it. Everyone's different see some crazy stuff in them. We have one that looks like a goldfish on his belly. That is awesome. It's pretty fun. Um, we work with about 90 different species of amphibians, so we got all different sizes. These guys are one oh of the ones gosh. that are going to get a little bit bigger. They call them, they're one of the Tinctoris species. That's the color of my like logos right there. It's awesome. Uh oh, now I need some of those. <laughs> those are really cool. These are the ones, these are called bumblebees. And being from Pittsburgh, these are a big hit, being black and gold. Oh my gosh, those are insane. Wow, the color on these little things. What do these guys eat? They're going to eat fruit flies. Um, wingless and flightless, a couple different species of fruit flies that are wingless and flightless. Yeah. Because if they flew, this would be miserable. Yeah. So, <laughs> what we end up doing is we've got fruit fly cultures that they're going to eat. Usually starts off like this. After about two weeks, they're going to grow and develop, and then you're going to be growing your own food. No way. So that's the great thing about it is you don't have to worry about sending off for them. You don't have to worry about doing that. You make your own food. So what's the best place, uh, way for people to contact you? Uh, through our website or Facebook with Shore Thing Exotics. Okay. Um, you can find us either shorethingexotics.com or on Facebook at Shore Thing Exotics. Frank, what you showing us, brother? All right, I'll show you. Yes, definitely. Thank you. I'm going to show you Inchi Fire Hinging Wilma Pie. And I was talking about making this snake. Everyone was laughing at me because they thought it would be like a spy. Wow. But it makes like a mid white, low white animal. Yeah. Dude, that thing is beautiful, man. Yeah. Fire Yellow Belly Pie. 
if this just had to throw a little inch in it, and that's the game over right oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's going to be the next step, I think. All right. So real quick. So what's going on? So what's going on? Wait, let's stop. Stop. <laughs> yes. All right. You guys ready? Okay. okay. So what are we doing? We're going to go uh, surprise somebody. Surprise somebody. Her Brianna. Brianna. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to... She breathes ball pies. She walks you all the time. No way. Are we going to yeah. scare her or are we going to just bombard her? She's going to be like, oh my God. Okay. We're going to shock her. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. <laughs> I have to tell you guys a funny story. Okay. So yesterday, no, I'm telling them a funny story. So yesterday, you know, she comes up to me. Lindsay comes up to me. And she's all like, hey, um, can I take a selfie? No, you're coming over here. She's like, can I take a selfie with you? And I was like, yeah, for sure. So this whole time, I honestly think, you know, okay, she knows who I am. She goes on Facebook and posts, oh, you know, what'd you say? I said, got to meet another celebrity. And in parentheses, I said, unfortunately, I don't know who he is. Yeah, oh, I yeah, got well, roasted. I I got so roasted on that one, but yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Finally, Brianna. Hey, hey. how are you? <laughs> so before you like, you know, break everything down, Tony. could you do me a big favor? Yeah. Could you show me a couple snakes? Definitely. All right, perfect. So I heard you're breeding ball pythons. Um, I'm working on it. I've successfully had one clutch come out, like, be laid, but it hasn't. Hey, it you ever? Oh, it didn't. It didn't well, you're starting, so that's a good thing right Definitely, there. Definitely, yeah. All I right. just have to get the incubation part down. Awesome. This is her day, man. You're making it good. Oh, what's up, man? All right. <laughs> good, good. She's blowing him out. Yeah, right. definitely. <laughs> so this is my favorite snake. Some five-year-old kid came up to me and named him Steve. Oh my gosh, that's a cool name. <laughs> um, he's awesome. He honestly used to try to bite me in the face um, when we first got him. He was about half this size. And I've just been playing with him, and he's puppy dog tamed now. Beautiful. He'll let you pet his chin. Really? Wow. He's really cool. This is a Sun Glow Sharp Line Albino Motley. And it's pet for snow. So you can make snow glows. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at that tail, too. Yeah, he's stunning. So orange. And everyone knows that I love the color orange. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. That's so beautiful. All right, so I always have everyone show three snakes, so you have to show another one of your favorites. Let's see. I'm a big clown guy, too. I love clowns, man. You hit it on the mark. Right? Yeah. It's a pastavi clown. Oh, yeah. look at that. It's a female, crazy blushing. That is beautiful. Now, here's a question. So we have all the whole crew right here. If everybody, if anybody wants to come check out your guys' stuff online, what's the best way for people to reach out to you guys? Reptile Zone on Facebook. So we're about to get a special tour of Gecko Junkie right now. We're going to see geckos, we're going to see custom racks, we're going to get some knowledge on these things. You guys ready for it? I am. Alright guys, how we doing? Tristan Kaler here with Gecko Junkie. Uh, we're located in Knoxville, Tennessee, hanging out here in Atlanta Repticon with Miguel. We've had a great weekend out here, uh, lots of cool stuff going on. The show's getting ready to wrap up here. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys some insight on what we do. We travel anywhere from Houston to Baltimore uh, with Repticon and the Repticon circuit, so you can find us at any of those shows. Uh, definitely check us out on Facebook, Instagram. I have YouTube as well, um, What the Geck TV, so definitely check that out. we got some cool stuff going on. I'm actually working on building a uh, YouTube channel myself and kind of get some of the crusted geckos on that. Uh, I know not many people do it. Tiki's is one of the guys that does it, but I feel like there's some information out there that would be great for that. I 100% agree that you need to do that, man, because you're right. There's only literally a few of them. You get a lot of snake channels and stuff like that, but dude, if there's anything we could do or I could do to help you get that thing going, let's do it, man. Yep. What is this? So this is a Lily White. Um, they were produced in the UK um, from Lily Exotics. Uh, they're wow. really the highest end kind of crested gecko, most sought after at this time. Yeah, they have great color, great side patterns. So, unlike a lot of the other ones, open that one up, Zach. These guys are going to see a lot of the difference in the actual whiteness and contrast. Okay. I love the way um, they just jump. You know, yeah. most of them are yellow in color. As you see, the lily whites are a lot whiter. Um, they've got a lot more pattern that goes down their legs, their side pattern. Cool thing about them is they got like an embrailed side. That's kind of, you know, something that stands out to me is that their sides are almost embrailed. So this is a red striped gargoyle male. Um, he's probably right around 30 grams, really wow. cool. Um, he's still gonna gain some color and it'll spread. If you kind of scan over here, oh you can gosh. see the adult. Yeah. And this is, if we don't sell them, it's gonna be a pair. We kind of just brought them here to See yeah, these kind happened. of things, you can't really go wrong if you sell them or you yeah. decide to keep them, huh? Exactly. So how long have you been breeding geckos for? 
uh, approximately nine years. So what got me started was the Scott Smith All Animal Expo that you went to, where you guys seen the grizzly bears. I got to play with grizzly bears. Pretty sure you guys know that. So yeah, where you went and seen the grizzly bears. That's actually when I was younger. That's the first show I ever went to. Um, it actually had dirt floors. They were in a, a small facility, and that's what got me started. Is I just went there and seen a seen something that I really enjoyed. All right, so you, this is all you right here. Everything right here, right? Yes, sir. Everything from here back. Um, we do custom decals, so some cool stuff that you can put on your car, your laptops, things like that. Um, they're waterproof. Uh, we do have a website that you can check out and get them from there. It's Reptile Treehouse, thereptiletreehouse.com. Um, and we'll have those on there. We carry all the products for the geckos, um, lots of plants and things like that. We also carry dragons and snakes at the table. So we try to carry everything to set the animals up and send the people home with the proper things that they need. Uh, we've got all your cups here and feeding ledges for your geckos. Um, some custom cages. As you see here, we've got some leopard gecko kits. Um, and then we distribute the Pangea. Uh, so we work with Pangea and we distribute their food. I think that that's the best food on the market. Now, do you ship that as well? Uh, we can. So we're in the works. Chad, again, is actually going to be running the... <laughs> Chad, right? Yeah, that's Chad. Chad. Chad, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Chad's actually, he's going to be running my website um, because we do this every weekend. I'm at shows every single weekend, so it's hard for me to keep up with both. Um, so we're kind of putting that in his lap, and he's going to be taking that over, so we are working on that. So, dude, yesterday when I was here talking to you, man, and, you know, I fell in love with your custom, you know, cages and things like that. But when we're talking about kids and how, you know, how you were telling me how you love doing things for kids, and it's all about them, you know, because it really is. Because in the future, they're the ones that's going to be, you know, becoming us, right? Right. So he showed me this kid kit. Well, I would like a kid's kit, right? Yeah. For a gecko. Kid, I mean, it, it, dude, color coordinated. It's honestly one of the coolest thing ever. So, dude, please show us this. Yes, sir. Check it out. Um, so we used to offer different versions of this, but when I came into the industry, I seen that you know there's only kind of one version of cages out there. Essentially, it was your exoterras. Um, you put a baby gecko in there. Probably not going to be the best, especially with a kid. And also, you know, parents come in here, they don't know if their kid's really interested or not. They don't know if they're going to stay interested in this or not. Um, so this is just a nice, efficient way. $28, we set up everything you need. It's got your plants in there, this little bottle so they can make the food. Leave it in the refrigerator. Teaches your kids a little bit of responsibility so we can make sure that they're going to do what they need to. Um, comes with a bag of food. For a baby, it's going to last you approximately six to eight months if you do what I tell you. And it has a screen right here too so you don't have to poke those holes all around it. And it looks clean. Bring this up, dude, because trust me, I know how people are. They're going to be like, well, why would you put a little gecko in there? You know, it's too small. It should be on a big cage or something exactly. like that. But this is something we were actually talking about. It actually stresses it out a lot more and they will thrive a lot more. But I'm gonna let him explain it because he's way more knowledgeable than I am. Yeah, so in my experience, kind of exactly what you're talking about. When I first got into this, of course, I'm gonna listen to all the experts out there that are telling me their information. Uh, but as I grew in the business and learned and talked to more people, I started talking to people that kept them in kits like this. Um, yeah, people sometimes frown upon it, but my theory behind it is, imagine this, we stick a small food dish in here and we put the cap on here. It's gonna infumigate the area. The animal is gonna to have to find their food. There's no way around it. Opposed to, if we stick it in a cage that has a screen top, these got screen tops on them, the animal's not gonna smell the food because the smell's going right out. Um, let's think about people in their work schedule. They've got kids, they've got school, baseball, the list goes on and on and on. So this is gonna help them. They no, only gotta spray a... it once a day. Dude, and you, you have know? different colors, right? They have... Yeah, so we've got different colors. You can kind of see as you go right here, we just do different color bottles. Um, so depending on what color the kid likes, boy, girl, we can kind of get them in whatever they would like Dude, as far as that. So I'm telling you right now, this is going to be, I mean, I know my kids are going to be super interested and it's going to be really big. What's the best way? Again, we already talked about it on their last vlog, but if people want to reach out and get in contact and get some of these things, what's the best way? So easiest way, you guys can call me 423-994-5037 or text me. Um, you see now what breeder and what person gives out their number like that i love right. this dude man that's right got to be somebody that you can reach out to um and we'll go back to that real quick so i'll just pull this out so this is also in there very important we've got a care sheet okay has all your goodies in there this is on my facebook you guys are more than welcome to grab it use it if it's helpful for you but we've got facebook instagram link phone number this goes out to any person that buys any animal from us, whether it's a bearded dragon, a snake, a leopard gecko. We have care sheets for all the animals, um, but we want them to have somebody that they can reach out to. Is They've got to have somebody they can count on and depend on, and that's what I care about. And we got it all, baby. <laughs> gecko Junkie, one-stop shop. 
Um, but we're building racks. Uh, eventually, we're going to have these where they'll have your screens and all that. Uh, but these, again, universal. I What's this right think. here? So this is actually a feeding ledge. So if you want to pull it out, you can pull out your dish here, you know, set it down. So you're not wow. moving it to the table, things like that. So that makes it great. It makes it convenient for you. Well, dude, first of all, man, I want to tell you thank you very much. This was honestly really, really awesome. And something you guys might not know is I actually got into talk with him and you'll be seeing an unboxing of a lot of those so you got to stay tuned and again man just shout out one more time what's the best way of contacting you what websites instagram facebook social media let it all out there gecko junkie facebook instagram we've got youtube channel again it's kind of just getting started but miguel here is going to give me some insight we'll get that going that way we can get some more information out there uh, but again my number is 423-994-5037 Text me, call me if you guys have questions. I want to be your go-to. So real quick, Heather and Brittany were trying to turn me into a Southern Belle, but it was not going to happen. But guys, honestly, man, I want to thank all of you guys. Seriously, you guys are so awesome. You guys made this show, honestly, one of my favorites. I'm going to put everyone's information in the description down below. Make sure you guys go check Chasing Balls and Breeder Underground. And guys, you guys know I appreciate all of the support. And until next time, I know, I know right? I know, right? <laughs>